everybody, this is Dean Jamie Dorsey trying to help beat the key for $3,500 cash over. Woo, let's see if we make it. Oh, it's starting over again. Suckers on. They're having problems. <laughs> Went back to the timer. 82 seconds. Yeah. Been waiting six minutes now. <laughs> well, actually, ten minutes before the game started. Hey, there's some of that uh, goulash in the pan there. If you want. What'd you do? Hey, why you do this one? Freak. Thought it'd feel good. Nasty. <laughs> like Katie. difficulties you ever seen something live before nope. it happens sometimes things don't go the way they is supposed to but we're working hard on it, making it right so you can win that money and get your cue beat immediately i know you like beating cue we know you like to beat the cue we had some technical difficulties computer may have died a button didn't work hey it's part of living the american dream but hey Get ready, because we're almost there. You're about to be able to beat the queue. It's loading. Now, uh, it's coming. It's going to be here soon. Uh, the queue that you want to beat is loading up at this very moment. <laughs> is it just me, or is it? <laughs> well, welcome back to Beat the Queue. I'm your host, William Haynes. It's February 17th, and... <laughs> <laughs> and you know what that means. It's National Cabbage Day. Celebrate by letting that cabbage yeah, live cabbage. longer than and eating something that actually tastes good yeah, instead. So how's everyone baby. doing in the chat? Uh, you doing all right? So how many of you are watching a bunch? How many of you are actually playing, though? Are you locked into your top buzz or buzz video account? Did you update the app? That's the only way to take a swing at beating the queue. If you don't have an account, close out of this game and create one using your Facebook, your Twitter, or your Google account. Do this now so you can come back and play with this immediately. If you're experiencing any issues, there's an easy way to let us know in the app. Tap the me button to see your profile and look for the feedback option. Let us know how beat the queue is working for you. <laughs> you may be saying, okay. I can win some cash money, but how does it work? What are the rules? Here are the rules. I'll provide you with 12 trivia questions, and you will try to answer them correctly. You have 10 seconds to answer, and once you've made your selection, you cannot change it. If you answer all the questions correctly, you will win or split our grand prize. But as soon as you get a question wrong, you are eliminated. It's really that easy. And today you'll be playing for $3,500. Some helpful tips. Plug your phone into a power supply if you're low on juice. Make sure you're connected to a good Wi-Fi signal and always wash your hands before eating. Beat the queue is best played in groups, so play with friends. Huddle up and share what you know. Plus, if you refer a friend to beat the queue, you'll get an extra life. That means you can stay in the game longer so share your code on whatever social media you want it seems kind of pointless to share it in the chat but you know what do whatever you want it's your life speaking yeah, of the cool. chat how's everybody doing out there is everybody being nice to each other wish each other good luck because beat the cue is all about good sportsmanship <laughs> okay i hope you guys are ready to beat the cue because here's your first question a tadpole metamorphoses into this amphibian a butterfly a frog or Mitch McConnell. 
<laughs> so, which is it? Well, a butterfly is what you get in your stomach every time you get a push notification from Beat the Q or whenever you eat caterpillars. And come on, though he may look like he was once a tadpole, we all know yeah, Mitch McConnell was created when lightning struck a jar of mayonnaise. Yes, just like Disney told us, handsome princes cursed by voodoo witch doctors and tadpoles turn into frogs. It can take tadpoles anywhere from six weeks to eight months to become a frog. So it looks like 12,000 of you got that right. I missed some easy ones yesterday. Uh oh, lagging. Which is the following is the name of a Pokemon? Pikachu, a Corkapoo, a Shakira. Hmm. Pokemon. Which one of these is a Pokemon? Now I only remember three things. Three things from Pokemon. One, oh, po making animals Pokemon. fight each other is a Pokemon. fun activity for kids. Two, Pokemon cards were the first Bitcoin. And three, the answer to this question is not a Corgi Poo. Corgi Poos are when you combine Corgis and, po and Poodles. And Shakira is when you combine hips and honesty. The correct answer is Pikachu. Anyone in the chat into Pokemon? Of course you are because you're human. Keep her friendly in there. Okay, back to the cues you guys are trying to beat. You got to catch them all to win, and there's nine left. Question three. A so... Is a female pig, cow, or goat? Think about it. <laughs> so we are kicking out on trivia. So I don't. So don't have a cow if this question gets your goat. The quick answer is pig. A so is a female pig who has produced piglets, and one who hasn't is called a guilt. And if you got some guilt about losing this round, don't worry. We've got shows seven days a week, including a very special week between tomorrow at 4 p.m. Pacific, 7 p.m. Eastern, with a very special $25,000 prize. Question four. A vocalist in which of these ranges could sing the highest note? Bass? Soprano? Or tenor? Which of these is the highest note? of singing. Like 2010's hit song by Dev featuring the cataracts taught us, she likes her beats fast and her bass down low, but 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 bass, bass down low. And I guess she likes her tenor kind of like a little bit above that because tenor is still in a guy's range, but it's on the higher end. But neither of those are as high as the right answer, Soprano. Yes, Soprano is the highest range, commonly only sung by women, young boys, or male cartoon characters who were just commonly hit between the legs. Give me that money. Ouch. Looks like this question hit below the belt for 495 of you who answered incorrectly. Next question. Which of these planets has the most moons? Jupiter, the sun, or... Question <laughs> All right, let's five. be honest. The only moons you will find on Earth is one in the sky and the ones that pass you on a car window on the highway. Sun, That's a butt man, joke. Man. And the sun is a freaking star, you guys. There's no moons there. So, hey, this is an easy one. The right answer is, of course, yeah. Jupiter. Scientists now think the total number of Jupiter's moons is 69. Okay, grow up. This question knocks you out of orbit. Next time, you refer go. a friend before Next playing. And if they use your eight-digit referral code to sign up, we'll give you an extra life so you can stay in the game longer. Question six. Cool Runnings is about a Jamaican team competing in what winter Olympic awesome. sport? Figure skating, curling, or bobsled? Cool bobsled. I know you've seen Cool Runnings. I know you know the answer to this question. Don't act like you doesn't. Ah, the Winter Olympics. That sporting the event you are mildly aware is happening, happening right now. If anything important minutes, happens, they'll make a movie minutes, about it, right? Well, we know the movie about figure skating is called I, Tanya, and I'm not sure what curling is, but I'm pretty sure that's what they spend most of their time doing in the movie Hairspray. Jamaican me spell it out for you. The correct answer is bobsledding. You remember Cool Runnings, right? It's the only sport film about an unlikely group of misfits banding together to compete against overwhelming odds. And if you didn't beat the odds on this game, we still have another chance to line your pockets before you have to go to work on Monday. Tune in tomorrow at 4 p.m. Pacific, 7 p.m. Eastern with a very special $25,000 prize. Then we're live again all week with two games a day. We look forward to seeing you again. For those of you still with us, on to the next queue. Question seven. What is Earth's atmosphere mostly made up of? Nitrogen, Nitrogen freon, or argon? <laughs> Should have paid attention in science class. You'd know this immediately. 
which of these gases takes the majority Perfect. in our Perfect. atmosphere? Perfect. Well, Freon is in your aerosol sprays. It only takes up a small portion of there. And Argon may get third place, but it's only 1%. At 78%, the right answer is nitrogen. The word has Greek origins and means to choke since it's toxic to breathe. And it looks like 61 of you choked or nitrogen on this question. So don't worry, though. You can still hang out with us on Twitter at BTQ Official. Shout out to some of the new followers, Kelly Dudley, Miranda Watson, and Brock Harris. Thanks for following. Join the party on Twitter at BTQ Official. Next cue. Question eight. What famous singer played the man with breasts in the movie Fight Club? Elton John, Meat Loaf, or Boy George? Meat Happens Lope? in fights clubs. I picked Meat Loaf. Stays in fights clubs. Fight Club. Boy George did not play a man with breasts in Fight Club, though for a while he was playing a man with breasts in real life. Elton John, Elton John is closer, but his crazy movie, crazy movie cameo was in the second Kingsman movie where he destroys two people in a Matrix-style fight scene. Turns out the man who would do anything for love, including playing a man with breasts, is Meat Loaf. If you haven't seen the movie, Meat Loaf's character has a hormone imbalance that caused him to grow breasts. And if you think that's a weird choice to have Meat Loaf in that role, you're wrong. The only bad casting choice in Fight Club was the decision to give Jared Leto a break in his acting career. Looks like 4,000 of you are one step closer to winning today's Fight the Q Club. Way to go. Question 9. What musical artist launched the production company Mary Jane in 2015? Snoop Dogg, Miley Cyrus, or Willie Nelson? Mary Jane. Mary Jane. I even spelled right. We'd like you to play this game with a bud because it would be dope. Snoop if your joint effort gets you the jackpot. Okay, I'm done. Wait. Do be careful with your selection, though. Okay. Now I'm done. The answer is Snoop Dogg. If anyone thinks of any cannabis puns I missed, shout them out in the chat. I need to know. Well, now that over 400 of you have burnt out, the rest of you are still left to beat the cube. Question 10. Where are you most likely to find a polar bear in the wild? Iceland, Greenland, or Antarctica? Hmm, polar bears. Where are you going to find one of these in real life in the wild? And look, I'm sorry, guys. Floating in the middle of the ocean on a tiny iceberg is not a choice. There's no polar bears in Antarctica, just penguins and a few lonely scientists. Polar bears aren't native to Iceland either, just Bjork and abandoned plot threads from Game of Thrones. The correct answer is Greenland. The country's coat of arms even bears a picture of the Oh, congratulations to the over 1,000 winners. Looks like a 1,000 of you found that question. Looks like 400 of you found that question unbearable. The rest of you are two cues away from victory. Question number 11. Which one of these pieces was not composed by Beethoven? Bernie Lee's Moonlight Sonata or Piano Sonata number 11? You know who you're playing? I pick piano. <laughs> On the piano? Number 11. You know Beethoven. Know Look, Beethoven is the 18th century composer responsible for the very first death jams. Who doesn't remember taking a cruise in the whip and bumping Moonlight Sonata and Fur Lease? That's right. The piece he did not compose was Piano Sonata number 11. Oh, I got Those right of you who look. knew that, don't again. tell me what happens. I haven't heard the first 10 yet. And speaking oh, of Beethoven. Man. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, my God, I'm a winner. I'm a winner. It's the final question. I'm shaking. Let's see if I can not lose my life. Please. Here it is. $3,500 and a chance to beat the queue. Here we go. Final question. Final question. What is the largest country in Africa? Chad, Chad Algeria, 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 or Sudan? Sudan. I just saw Black Panther, so I know the answer to this question immediately. Uh. We're looking for the biggest country in Africa. Not the biggest D-bag in your graduating class, so if you said Chad, well, you're I as bad as Chad, need, the actual guy from my senior life, social studies class. I Sudan, Sorry, I wasn't a real I fan of Chad, Sudan's and that's why I'm talking about him now years later as an adult. Stuff. And Sudan, nope. our third choice, is nope. only the third biggest country in Africa. Nope. That's right, the biggest country nope. isn't some Geria, it isn't a little Geria, it's Algeria. Nope. It's also nope. the biggest answer in this nope. game, because nope. those of you who got it right have nope. just beat the queue. <laughs> Oh, 
Wow! Congratulations to our 312 again, winners. You 312 smart. Winners, you loyal. You bucks. precious. Like 4 million. You are a winner. Another one. If you're one of our winners, it's really easy to withdraw your profits. Click your icon in the top right. Just click withdraw and connect to your PayPal. Then you get that money. We make it easy to brag about winning to your friends on social media. So after the game, be sure to spread the word and let them know that you're the king or queen of the quizzes. Dang, like if you didn't win today, we've got more games every day of the week. So people are scheduling. Come on back. It's worth reminding you that we'll be back tomorrow at 4 p.m. Pacific, 7 p.m. Eastern for our huge $25,000 game. So don't miss it. If you couldn't play today, remember, you need to be logged into your Top Buzz or Buzz video account. So download the latest version of the app and create an account using your Facebook, your Twitter, or your Google account, and you can play with us next time. Maybe you'll win. I think you got a pretty good shot. I've been your host, William Haynes. Thanks for watching Beat the Q. <laughs>guys thanks for hanging out as you can see i won it's that simple answer 12 questions and you win like and subscribe use my referral code if you want to get an extra life for yourself have a good one